Hi everyone, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little um, chocolate holders and they were very inexpensive to make and I think they turned out really nice so um, what I used was this Ghirardelli strawberry bark and it comes in a bag that looks like this this is a picture of the chocolates. Okay. All right. And they also have the Ghirardelli squares in the chocolate with the crispy rice in them. I prefer the bark um, or the crispy rice one over the ones with a cream or liquid uh, center simply because they're so much easier when you have to tape them down like this. Because it's bark, they don't have to worry about these candies squishing, and so that extra puff of air is not in the wrapper. And um, the ones with the liquid centers have a little puff of air that the manufacturer puts in to protect it. So when you go to fold back the, um, the low ends like this, it's very uneven. It's like trying to stabilize um, a balloon. <laughs> So, um, you know, be sure to get the, the bark if you can. And if you need to go with a less expensive candy, that's fine. Um, just find a candy that is very flat. The flatter the candy, um, the better off you'll be without that extra puff of air inside. Okay? So that's just a little tip. Now what I did was I just took some scotch tape, a couple of pieces, and I folded it over like this and put some tape down like that. Okay, so it looks like this. Alright, I'm going to set that aside. Now I already taped all three of these. You can use two or you can use three, but I'm using three today. And I thought the little hearts on the sides were really cute so I'm going to um, try to keep those open like I did here so you can see the little hearts so what I'm going to do is kind of straighten this out and on the pink side I'm going to take kind of a longish piece of tape and Tape it together. Make sure it's nice and even. Hold it like this if you want. Put some more long tape down that pink side like that. Okay, so now we have them taped together. And so the next thing you're going to need is a wrapper. So your choice of wrapper is, is um, absolutely fine. Anything you want to use, but I will tell you the brighter or darker um, your paper is, the more the lace on this will show up. Okay? See, there's lace on both of them. And they both look pretty, but this one shows up a little more because it's darker. I probably would have gone with a shade darker for this pink, but I didn't have it um, in my stash, and so I went with this, and I still think it looks really pretty, but um, that's just a personal choice. So this little strip of paper here, I cut using my paper cutter, and it's six and a half inches long by one and three-fourths inch wide. Okay. So I want to expose the sides with the hearts, so I'm going to wrap it around this direction. Okay. So the hearts will be exposed. Now um, I'm going to put a little. Oops, it's falling out of there. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to use the double-sided tape for this. This is from Dollar Tree. You can pick it up just about anywhere, Walmart too. But Dollar Tree is a lot cheaper. And I'm going to 
place some of this double-sided tape here. This is just to hold it down. I'm going to place this right here at the bottom, like that, and I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to kind of pinch it like that. You could score it if you wanted to, but I'm showing you just to pinch it because not everybody has a, a scoreboard and I want everybody to be able to do this project. So we're going to give it a little pinch. And use any type of, like I said, any type of paper you'd like, but I, I, I would probably stay away with a real stiff um, cardstock. This is just your average cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a little pinch here. Like that, see? Alright, so now I'm going to take another piece of the double-sided tape. I'm going to open it up, slide this in here, like so. Okay, and so then there we go. We have what looks like this. So, um, let's see, the next thing that we're going to do is um, I'm going to put some of the, the lace around here. This little capsule is from Walmart and they've had this for years, the little different pieces of lace in these little capsules and I've already used a ton of this from this capsule. You get nine feet for a dollar and they have these in different types of um, lace, usually in white, but different styles. This one is one and a half inches wide, and you get nine feet in this little capsule. So I'm going to cut, oh, about six inches of this, so I'm going to measure this right down here, and I'm going to cut about six inches. I say about because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> and we're just going to wrap this around here. Um, now to start, I'm just going to take a little dot of this um, Fabri-Tac. just a little dot of it. You can put it right where you think the middle of the lace would be. See how tiny that is? I didn't hardly put anything. We just want enough to hold it. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Just enough to hold the lace and believe me this um, dries pretty quick and it really does hold <laughs> and then right here right here and then this piece right here and the piece on the other side. I'm going to put just a little bit here. Just to kind of hold it. Doesn't have to be a ton. As you can clearly see. Okay. And if you want to, you can balance it up like this and allow it to, to dry. Okay, uh, so the next part of this is we're going to put some little little hearts across here. Okay, now I purchased these hearts at Hobby Lobby, and I really like these because they come in um, three different sizes. Okay, so you've got the larger ones. 
you have the medium ones like that and then you've got the little tiny ones that you can punch out from this medallion thing like that so I'm going to be using this and I finally figured out I couldn't figure out at first why they had this like that I'm thinking well what could you use this for then it dawned on me they did that so you could interchange the hearts on the medallion any way you want like that okay. <laughs> so and of course you could also leave it like this and any type of um, paper you use you know would show through like a little window so but um so I'll, I'll put these aside. You get all of this, 132 pieces, from Hobby Lobby. The price is regularly $1.99. I did not pay $1.99. All of their Valentine stuff is on sale for 40% off right now. So I got this for $1.19. Okay. And once again, there's 132 pieces. Okay. So, um... Before we put any of the hearts on, I'll show you how to make the little tag. Because you're going to need to have this ready as we're um, gluing on our hearts, and I'll show you why in a moment. You can choose any type or any color, I should say, tag that you want. And I cut my tags with a paper cutter, three fourths of an inch uh, long by a half an inch wide okay and so I'm going to use this one this is that diamond glitter paper I think I showed that to you during uh, Christmas and I used this on the back of the ornaments that I made so I'm just going to do this I'm just going to cut at an angle on both sides to make it look like a little bitty tag. Then I'm going to use my bottle cap hole punch and make a little hole right up here like that. And I'm also going to kind of spin that around and make sure we have a nice clear hole because we're going to take oh before we do that we're going to take um, one of my little distress inks here. If you don't have any of the distress inks, it's not a problem. You can use a paint pen or you can leave it alone. And I'm just doing this just to bring out the tag a little more. I don't generally work with distress inks that much, but um, since I've been working on my journal in um, in the background, <laughs> I should say. Um, I haven't posted anything about it or anything like that because um, I'm still new at it. But, so it looks like that. Now we're going to take some of this upholstery thread and I told you uh, about this quite a while ago. So if you've been following me for a number of years, I'm sure you remember this upholstery thread and I'm just taking a fairly good amount just so I don't have to worry about um, you know how long the thread is <laughs> and have to deal with a short thread now I folded this upholstery thread in half it's very strong thread it's not like regular thread you, it'll be practically impossible to break in half without scissors, but they carry this at Walmart where the regular threads are, and it's not expensive at all. And um, let's see, what did, what did I just do with? 
oh here it is the top here it'll look like regular white thread but then at the top um, it usually mentions yeah right here it says upholstery right there it's super strong anyway so I folded this in half and I'm going to slip this through here like that and if I can do this with my shaky hands you can do it believe me here we go so we have our little tag now you can do whatever you want on this um, on this one I put I love you or I heart you but the I and the U I um, drew with a ultrafine sharpie marker and it really was difficult for me I had to try it a couple of times because my hands just shook way too much so I just ended up putting a little heart on this one now I have a whole bunch of leftover hearts from throughout the years hearts that I bought at Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store both so that's what I, I used on this so um, I think for this one I'm just going to go ahead and and use uh, probably just a yeah I'll probably use a pink heart so and because this is so old it's really all not not all that sticky in the back so I'm gonna take some fabric tack here and place just a little dot like that it doesn't need much at all and just lay that on there like that so now we have our little tag and that'll dry okay so the reason why I had you do this is because <laughs> okay I'm going to lay this right about here and the heart in the middle will be under that okay and that's the largest heart so I think um, we're gonna start with maybe this well maybe I'll start with purple today that'll be the largest heart and even though it's got a lot of sticky stuff on it and it does hold really well even on this lace I'm still gonna put just a little bit of the fabric tack on and I'm gonna place this right in the middle like that okay so um, now I'm going to take a second heart and I'll probably make that pink pink maybe or red maybe red and then I'll place pink at the top no, because if I want to use, yeah, I better use pink. I'll use pink. I'm thinking out loud here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't want to use pink as the base because underneath here is already pink, and I figured it would just kind of swallow it up. So I wanted to use a different color than the base color for my first heart. Now this last heart is going to be a jewel heart, okay? And I think I'm going to go for the red. I have, do I have red here? Hmm. I thought I did, but well, they have the smaller red, but it will still be really cute. I was hoping I had a red in the larger hearts, but 
the larger jewel hearts. I probably should have picked up some more. But I really did want to use these up. And then I'm going to put a heart here and a heart here, layer them like I did there. Okay, so I'm going to put I think a little red heart here. Don't need a lot. You don't actually need any because, like I said, these are really nice and sticky. But um, I just I don't know. I guess I'm a little OCD about stuff. Good grief. <laughs> okay. And then maybe... Maybe these are pink. Maybe pink. These are the smallest hearts, the ones you have to punch out of the little medallion. Yeah, just wiping it with a little of that. And then... Hobby Lobby also had... Um, a mixture of hearts but they were all the same size but they were pretty they were pink red and this dark uh, turquoise color which I thought was unusual you don't really see that color too much in these hearts oh and I also have a butterfly embellishment video that I made with um, the little foam type hearts I made this tutorial back in 2019 but I found it and it would go absolutely perfect if you guys didn't want to do the hearts and you wanted to do these beautiful little butterflies made from the little um, glittery sticky foam stuff I'll go ahead and put that link to that video in the description box below so all you have to do is just click on it and it'll take you right to that video and show you how to do it okay and it's very simple uh, when I posted that video back in 2019 I got a uh, very large response from that video people seem to really like it so I'll go ahead and do that and that would look really cute on this as well it's an option anyway I'm gonna put a couple of rhinestones here and I think I'm going to go for the purple ones put this okay okay So I think this turned out pretty cute and they're nice and sturdy and that way you can give a little thinking of you Valentine to just about everybody that you want to. That's you know one thing that I love to do is make up little tiny things like this and pass them out uh, to different people and I have an idea as to who I want to pass these out to so um, hopefully I'll get a chance to make up quite a few more. So, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I just wish each and every one of you a beautiful weekend. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.